all-star brink with his daughter Riley a very special relationship they have with Cam Brink who's on the brink of doing something special here for Stanford she's just one block away from tying a program career record of course in the starting lineup for the Stanford Cardinal along with Talana Lee Polo. We are set and ready to go at Maples Pavilion. Jenny Kavnar along with Mary Murphy. And uh, this one's going to be exciting. The crowd is ready for this. One of the couple of losses in conference play for Stanford came at the hands of the Trojans. They're ready for revenge. And right off the bat, Iriafen gets a bucket. Yeah, from the high post, puts it on the floor and attacks. And Lindsay Gottlieb, when she talked to us today at Shoot Around, we must have a good, solid start. We can't play from behind early. It's going to be tough without Rhea Marshall. She just gives this team so much at both ends. She really does. I think when it comes to the defensive side, it's the rebounding that they're going to have to come up with some extra help. Even on the offensive end. So right away. Filling in for her today, and Akunwafo coming up with the board. She only plays about 11 minutes a game, so how long can she go? How small do they get when she has to hit the bench? Shot clock at five. And Dusty Littleton taking it in hard, no whistle. And Polo to Brink, turns and shoots. No good there, and after a bounce, USC will take control. Lindsay Gottlieb said the first five minutes is going to be really important in this game to set the tone, set the pace of play that they want. The, clearly defense is important, but getting some pop and some good looks and shots like that going down, very important for USC. Fantastic look right there for Adika. Haley Jones will pop one. Two minutes in, a 3-2 lead for the Trojans. Can they build, turn and shoot, and brink with the board? Other end a little too long. Comes up with the ball, and Polo will take a three. Nice boxing out, good defensive position for Adika. See how USC is playing off some of these perimeter shooters for Stanford. They will not play off Hannah Jump. And there's a foul from jump right there as Destiny Littleton will go to the foul line. Good free throw shooter, 88% on the season. You see a team that imposes its defensive will on you. The pole is pass tipped away and Kayla Williams comes up with it, passing ahead. Soko has slowed up. Yeah, she did not play in the upset over Stanford down at the Galen Center out with a calf injury, which makes the, the win even more remarkable. Yeah, she's been itching to face a team like this, taking the three there and making it once again for the Dika. Stanford has numbers. This much inside. Good recognition. Great recognition and one. And Erie Austin completes the three-point play. Yeah, the post rotation for, for Stanford, as good as any team in the country. Lindsay Golly was joking. You watch when Stanford goes to their bench, they just get taller and taller. And Destiny Littleton, all 5'9 of her, doesn't even hide to make her threes. And she has been locked in from distance. 11-5, six-point advantage for the Trojans. Soko guarding Hannah Jump. We've got a battle inside. Akumwafo's aggressive on defense against the 6'7 freshman, and she misses that shot. Offensive board, and coming up is Haley Jones. Guess what? That matches the total she had last week against Arizona State. Just two points for her. And her second offensive rebound. This is where she's at her best, in the open floor. Wide open for Betts and an easy lay-in. Haley Jones is an artist with the ball in her hands when she just can see the floor and be creative. And when you've got Betts down low, it's a big target. How about Destiny Littleton? Seven points for Littleton. Two of three from the floor. Bets to jump for three, no good. And the offensive board coming out of nowhere and making the score is Indiana Navarre. 
Great energy on the O-boards. And what did Lindsay Gottlieb say to us? We must box out. We cannot give Stanford second opportunities. First time we're seeing a substitute. Yeah, Dumbia is on the floor for USC. We've got a battle inside. Betts wants it. Feeding in. Betts got double team. Back out. And knocking it down on the other end is India Navarro. Keeping things fresh are going to be really hard for Lindsay Gottlieb. And uh, Littleton throwing it up, getting that foul call with six seconds on the shot clock. Lindsay Gottlieb in her second year. What a season. First time since, I think, 2016 since they've been in the top 25. The Pets and Brink on the floor at the same time with Haley Jones at the three. This is the problem for USC. It's a smaller lineup. They're going to have to be fast, quick, and play tough defense, which they can do. Showed it against Stanford last time. Battling against a six foot seven bet, and she battles back, grabs her own rebound, and puts it in. So the quick 8 2 lead for USC has melted away. Pretty fired up about it. As Ashton Prechtel now on the floor, and you just get the feeling of what this post rotation is like for Stanford. Offensive foul goes on Sissoko. Cam Brink. Just missing there, and the ball tipped in the favor of USC. They're going to push it up, and again, this is where that speed and agility can come into play with a smaller lineup. Up by one. Nice moves, and the lefty just missing off the mark. And be up. Nice drive all the way in. <laughs> it's tough on the other end. We're used to seeing Cam Brink doing that. 17 seconds as the Cardinal looks to take the last shot and try and take the lead here. Jump back to Lipolo. She goes to her left. Passing it inside. An absolutely beautiful execution. 18-17 as Stanford takes the lead. Patience, persistence. Doing it all on the floor. Not expected to play. She's dealing with a torso injury that happened in the third quarter against Oregon State. Huge loss right now for the Trojans because it's a size at six foot four. But you're talking rebounds. You're talking block shots. You're talking about the things that she makes happen on the court. And uh, there's a whistle. I think it's going to be a clock issue. One of the most improved players in the conference, Raya Marshall, will sit out and have to watch this game. And right now, it's going to become really important because points in the paint. Stanford has 14, USC zero. So it's it's really going to be a game that's going to be played inside and possibly the battle won there. Brink coming up with the board. Well, clearly, USC is going to have to shoot the ball well from the perimeter. Littleton has done that early. Get to the free throw line. Find a way to score enough points. Henry Jones looking to feed inside. Cam Brink will set her a pick instead. The pull inside. And they're gonna call a travel. Great job on defense. Third turnover for Stanford, and so far USC capitalizing off those turnovers. They've had five points in the game. Dusty Littleton inside. Oh, what a double team by Haley Jones. She was sitting in the double the whole time. Akun Wafo turning the ball over her first start of the season. She had five starts as a freshman last year. There's the what a pass. Inside. Great positioning and brings on the board. There to her left. That gets to him. Block, grab, and go. It's a new category. <laughs> and then fill in transition and who's going to get the assist? Nice easy drive with the ball bouncing around, doesn't go in. It's all on the floor. Brink ties the Stanford record for blocks there. Now we're in transition. Run the floor. Beautiful job. Steph Curry loved it. Daughter Riley liked it just as much. Checking on that block, if it was Dimitri or if it was Cameron Brink. That's back in the game. Oh, 
They're going to need her to get hot. And a miss there. Steph Curry in the house. Cameron Brink, of course, very close. Steph's parents, Sonia and Del Curry, are the godparents of Cam Brink. They all went to school together at Virginia Tech. What a neat connection. All the way across the country at Virginia Tech, and you end up here. Williams driving in. Nice help from Navarre. Kika, she'll take a long three. <laughs> Good. Kika ties her teammate Littleton with the high of nine so far in the game. So Brink back in the game. And <laughs> what an easy play. Too hard off the glass, though. She's wide open. And Dika out. So Brink has one block in this game. Tied the school record. And the foul line is a place where Cameron Brink has made tremendous improvement. A year ago, a 62% three, free throw shooter this year, an 80%. And the halfway mark here in the second quarter, and that might be it. Miss there. Nice offensive board, and that's exactly what Lindsay Gottlieb doesn't want. That indeed was Cameron Brink's block that gives her 274 for her career. With more, many more to come. That was so unbelievable. Just a junior in doing it. Dimitri with another one. Jones trying to feed Brink inside, and a foul call. Cameron Brink, just a junior. I'm still surprised people try to drive in and, and shoot over her. We did a game earlier this year at USC where she had six blocks in the fourth quarter alone. She can just turn it up. Dimitri over to the corner. Nice and Brink block. falling down on that block. Job of not fouling again. Sophomore post player for USC playing well. Feet inside. For love. And that's a get your attention kind of block. I mean, it barely leaves your hand and it's already like heading into the stands. And Fran Believe says, Yeah, I love it. Let's take a look at it. This is Cameron Brink in your living room. 26-23, Stanford up. Cam Brinks really turned it on here for the Cardinal. Six points for rebounds and some blocks and adding in on the block fun and the party is Navarre. Unbelievable. Well, these Stanford teammates love the way that India Navarre plays with intensity, with energy. Oh. Williams to Littleton. She'll back it out. And the no-poo just giving Littleton no space. Boy loves that a screen. Littleton stays with the ball and a fading oh, jumper. Come on. She is one of the prettiest shots. She's in double figures with 11. A step back with defense right in your grill. He's turning go from Jones. She's hit with traffic, but no problem. Now Apollo being really physical with Littleton. And Littleton sees a shot clock there. Brink gets it back in and right in the hands of USC. So fouled is Akumwaka. And he got loop, certainly an area where they'll continue to work with her. She gets the bounce there, and that's her first point of the day. Jones directing traffic. And good. Justin Littleton will pull it out. Passing it off, three-point attempt, no good, and Haley Jones pushing it up. Couple tenths of the second, shot clock, game clock. Nice drive to the hoop. Seven seconds. Can't get that one underneath. Nothing for SC in the possession, and they will trail by six going into the half. So the home team. Retaking the lead here in the second quarter. 
Now for place, number four will be taken by Cam Brink. Up next, Lisa Leslie. And jump missing. Jump again. No go on the possession. It'll rattle around. It's going to stay with Sanford. I mean, she doesn't miss. She averages 11 points. She only took one shot in the first half. Two shots real quick in the first 20 seconds of the third quarter. Feet inside. Cameron Brink off the glass. She has eight. Yeah, the great patience of Cameron Brink. Desi Littleton with a nice feed underneath and dribbling around the defense is Sissoko. Float her up and off, and on the floor was Kayla Williams trying to duck it. Brink coming down on her. It's not a body you want to see coming on top of you. A lot of length. Kayla Williams has got herself into the paint with nowhere to go. There's another shot. They're trying to get her going, and there it is for Hannah Jump for three. So this is worst-case scenario for USC and Lindsay Gottlieb. How are you going to respond here in the second half? Three fired and nothing but net for Kayla Williams. Jones will pass it in to Brink. Brink's looking for jump. They want to get her going. Instead, inside and a roll around for the offense. Jump. She has it going here in the third quarter. And a timeout from Lindsay Gottlieb. Mary, do you think that Lindsay Gottlieb's conversation was about second chance points for Stanford and trying to eliminate those? They have 13 points, second chance points. They've taken 10 more shots than USC has. I think she, it just was like a restart. They started the second half not the way she wanted. We've got to get back to being ourselves. We cannot allow Hannah Jump to get open. That, you talked about daggers. That'll dagger you quickly. Six on the shot clock. Ball in the hands of Williams, and she nails it. We were talking a lot about her at shoot-around. She hadn't scored in two of the last, or had only scored, I should say, in two of the last five contests. Only six points the last game. So nice to see the three threes come alive today. Last year at Irvine, a 34% three-point shooter. So sitting at 20% is not who she is. Williams, one of several transfers. Another three and got it for Sissoko. She has five. And you can see the payoff from the timeout. A calmer USC team, more deliberate, looking for their shooters, knocking down shots. Sissoko can be dangerous. She's had four 20 plus point games this season. She gets hot, watch out. A little up and in. Nice scoop from Brooke to meet you. Littleton wants it back. She'll run to the ball. Kuwafo set the screen. Milton lost it. Match inside. And Sissoko will get the foul. So on that switch, Brink is covering Littleton. So it coming back into the play, she ends up fouling on the back side. The Pac-12 Women's Basketball is brought to you by Walt Disney World Resort. So free throw is good for Sissoko. Jones backing out. Six on the day for her. Great oh, help. Oh, nice stuff. Other end. Now it's getting real physical and the whistles are coming out. We haven't seen many of them. They're going to call jump ball there. And teammate Marshall leads the way for the Trojans with 77 and on the bench today with that torso injury. Minute left here in the third quarter. Brink plays off. Sissoko wants to take it. Six on the shot clock. Puts it up and short. Brink does a great job defending. But turns it over. 42-37 Stanford up. Big possession for USC. Littleton, Littleton on the bench. They just try to grab her a quick rest. Jumbia passing it. Nice head fake. Williams. Great head fake. Float her up. She's on the floor. And she's going to foul break. Urging their teammates on. 
Brian Marshall. I think Destiny Wilson's getting a little rest. She hasn't had much. Hasn't had much at all. Workhorse for sure. All her points coming in the first half, though. Hasn't had any in the third quarter here. Eight seconds to go. Haley Jones with the ball. She'll take it all the way and <laughs> gets the bucket to fall. 44-37 after 30 minutes of play here. You're going to fall under the Vanderveer coaching tree, and that's exactly where Beth Burns is. She had a fantastic head coaching career at San Diego State, built a great program there, had a lot of success at Louisville. I mean, her defense needs to be in the game, and I'm so glad that Lindsey Gottlieb hired her to have her around. Adika running to her right. <laughs> and there she is, Cameron Brake, doing what she does best, the block shot. And then she let the ball fall out of bounds. You can just tell the frustration as it slipped out. It's been so hard for them to get open shots and get anything to go down. So cool. And the baseline, double team back out. And Sissoko can't get it, fighting for the offensive board. Goes Stanford's way. Green throws it up and a foul coming. The connection between Haley Jones and Cameron Brink is real. 80% free throw shooter for Cameron Brink. The end of the ball game, you can have her on the floor. You can get her the ball because you have confidence that she can step to the line and knock them down. Her improvement is so dramatic. Different people that she has guarded, having to understand all the scouts on all those different matchups. Brink picked up her second foul. Fade away. <laughs> Got it. So finally, a little bit of mojo. Really physical. And Sissoko getting in on the action, takes the ball away. Littleton, pass over to Tumbia. Tumbia tries to feed, knocked out of bounds. Getting their opportunities, sure. the Trojans are. For three, that's long. Again. Tika tries to off her own board, it ends up with Sissoko. The most unhappy person in the building right now is Tara Vandiver. I can just guarantee you. Kiki Uriyaf, and I'll be checking in. Breathing fire over there on the bench. Nice floater. And that's the first move as Akunwafo goes down and stays down, grabbing her left calf. Double the whistle on an injury time. Alan Gottlieb coming out with the trainer. We're back in a scoring drought. It's been over two minutes since they've seen a field goal. There is no reason for Stanford to be comfortable. Lamar Jones. Lamar up top. Littleton on Irioff and Koi Love on Brink. Shot clock at five and a nice move from Irioff. Kabia inside. Sissoko back out. And now four on the shot clock. They got to get it off. And she gets stuffed. She wants to break. One dribble, moves to the hoop, and it's short. Got solid defense by Coy Love on Cameron Brink. Giving up so much size and length. It's going to be a timeout from Lindsey Gottlieb. 48-41. Can USC find an offensive rhythm? That's what they're going to find out here on the road. Sissoko, no good. Nice rebound. Eighteen offensive boards for Southern California. Can they make a count? Another offensive board. Sissoko coming through. With the kick out because you feel eerie often and then the presence of Brink. Long range three from Dusty Littleton, no good, and finally it ends up with a white jersey. And and you got it it back. Back. Oh, the ball, great defensive effort by USC for just sticking at it. Didn't get the call they wanted. Stuck with some tenacity there. Yeah, you are really seeing just the heart and soul of this USC team. 
without one of their best players that really gives them so much energy on both ends struggling to find open shots and just battling every dribble the women of troy have not swept the Cardinals since the 80s 86 87 is the last time it happened of course they beat them at galen center back on january 15th trailing here by seven with a 28 net and projected eight an eight seed in bracketology that's how far they have come this season and it's not always pretty williams on the polo Frank with the feed nice cut from Haley jones and she can't get the roll and she can't believe it great cut great pass he nice. cut it to three or two. As all Americans always seem in sync. Huge shot from Destiny Littleton. It's long fighting for the boards and they come up with it. Adika does. Adika's got to walk the shot. Trailing by five. There it is. Open. Got it. Littleton. Odika. And Littleton told her, get back in here and you get over there. And it's closing in on four minutes. 138 to play here at Maples Pavilion. Can Stanford hold on? Polo dribbling around with Kayla Williams playing good defense. Passing around the perimeter gets it into Jones. Go Six time. on the shot clock. Great defense from Sissoko. Got it up and Brink with a rebound put back. Brink just lurking, waiting, and cleaning up the mess. Big bucket. 50-45, under a minute to go. Big possession now for USC. Adika had the timely shot last possession. She passes it off now and a timeout from Lindsay Gottlieb who wants to talk it over. All right, for Lindsay Gottlieb, what do you want to do here with 11 seconds on the shot clock? Do whatever you can to get an open shot. Adika, Shisoko, Littleton, Kayla Williams. Adika back to Destiny Littleton. Littleton found a lane to drive. She goes in hard and gets the foul. It's been a really hard-fought game, but the rest have done a really fantastic job of letting them play basketball today. I think the thing they've done best has been consistent with what they've called. And a perfect six for six from the line today. She is 15. And somewhere in the desert, Lynn Roberts in Utah pulling hard for U.S. Gets the ball inbounded. Job one. So they go for the foul to put Brink at the line. Second team now. Got it in a lot easier on that one. See so that size on the floor for USC. And the break, the pass back to Jones. And he's got a cut. Back on it. Defense on the pole. She's dribbling it. Not sure why they're not following. the shot clock. Lindsay Gottlieb. Let the team go. And the Jones. Dusty Littleton straight up. And there's a huge there's a board and the timeout. There you go. Lindsay Gottlieb got what she wanted. The missed shot. The box out. And an opportunity to tie this ball game up. Dusty Littleton will inbound. 3.6 to go in the game and a 50 to 47 lead for Stanford. As he gets it in, out of bounds, and it's gonna go off the hand of the Cardinals. So 2.7 seconds now on the clock. And now you're just buried in the corner. It's a really tough spot. And Lauren Betts checking in. We're checking some in. Six, six seven. seven. Length. The biggest wingspan on the team against the 5'9 Destiny Littleton. 
She has to get it in. Shot has to go up. Ball back in Littleton's hands. It's an air ball, and Stanford holds on. Everyone can exhale as the win streak continues at Maples Pavilion.